Next to face the sharks tonight is Tanya, who wants to bring a burst of colour to the tank. Hi sharks, my name's Tanya. I'm the founder and owner of Sunburst Outdoor Living. Today I'm asking for 40,000 for 20% of my company. Sunburst started from a passion of home decor. I saw a need to brighten outdoor living spaces, so I started designing, pushing covers and selling them at local markets. Within three months, I was like overwhelmed with people flying up from Melbourne to buy my cushions. I quickly saw a demand, so went online and turned over 792,000 in our first year. Wow. Oh, okay. Well done. Good Thank job. You. In the four years we've been going, we've sold over 135,000 cushions turned over $2.6 million. We now sell in eight countries via Amazon and each country showing demand for our products. All of this has been achieved by an ex-acupuncturist that had very limited business experience. Which is you. Which is me. <laughs> <laughs> With your investment, your guidance, and most of all, your contacts, I would love to make Sunburst a global brand. So who would like to join the Sunburst team? Oh, wow. Well done. Tanya, why don't you show us the product? Can we have a look at it? I love my product. Oh, good on you. Sure you do. Does everybody want a cushion? Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's Strelitza, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. There you go, I'll have a Strelitza. I actually hate cushions. You can have a flower. Thank you very much, thanks. You want that one? I want like that, that one. You can have the big one. Oh, the big one. Oh, it's so beautiful. Steve can have the big one. I don't actually don't like cushions, actually, funny enough. People, they overuse cushions. You go back no. to the hotel room and it's just full of cushions and pillows. Nobody overuses cushions. Confetti. I agree. It's Steve, like get over it, mate. I can tell you, our house, cushions are everywhere. Well done, Tanya. So that's $40,000 for 20%, so you're valuing the business at $200,000. That's a fairly modest valuation for someone who's... To me, the investment today is insignificant compared to your guidance. Well, that's refreshing. We don't always hear that. Yeah. yeah. Tanya, where, where are you from? Uh, Bribey Island. Bribey oh, Island, okay. Great part of Queensland. Tell us what's special about these cushions. I design them. <laughs> Good girl. <Yeah. laughs> They're mine. <laughs> Look, I know that there's cushions out there, but the figures speak for themselves. Now you've opened that little can of worms, 800,000 bucks in your first year, four years in business, 2.6 mil, some simple math says that you've had some issues. So what's year two then? Over a million. Year, okay. Year three? Uh, 502 turnover. Yeah, year four? Currently at about 344. Okay, so your first couple of years you did your best revenues. Yeah, I did, and there's reason. I burnt out. I did everything from building the website, marketing, I was handwriting envelopes, did the whole lot. So I was working ridiculous hours. I had a two-year-old as well. Business can knock us around. Look, you've got two women here in this on this panel, both who started their businesses when with little kids at home. Yeah. Look, it's difficult, but you kind of just soldier on in some respects mm. and kind of suck it up and yeah, as women yeah. do. Help me understand the challenges that you had. For me, it was just exhaustion. And it's all self-taught. I felt like I was doing three degrees at once. This is how you install a pixel. This is how you run a Facebook ad remarketing. Welcome to small business. I mean, that's what we do, don't we? How are you now working so that we know that it's different than it was? My business is established. I've, I believe I'm solid. My challenge at the moment is exposing it to more people. I'm still just on Facebook. Marketing's not my strength. I recruited a marketing agency and I found that my website was on a Russian porn site. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> You've asked for investment 
of, um, well, $40,000. But what is your vision and how are you going to return the investment to your partner? I'd love to contact all of the resorts mm -hmm. and big retail outlets. I can custom create designs for specific stores. Are you the person for that journey? Yeah, I think so. What, what, what do you think, we're going to do that? No, no, no. No. Well, why don't you do it then? I know, it sounds easy. It sound, I know what you're saying. You know what I'd, I'd do? It. I'd look up their address and I'd give them a call and say, G'day, I'm Steve from Queensland. That's the reality, right? And you'd be prepared to do that in business, otherwise you're in trouble. Don't lament that, that's just your job. You're not feeling your confidence at all here, right? I'm sorry, I'm nervous. No, oh, you're fine. You're sort of saying, I've tried and can't. Yeah. You've got to not take no for an answer and you've got to get in there. It's unfortunate, but females tend to do that way. Why do you think there's a female pay gap? Because there is. I'm not denying there isn't, right? But the reality is if you don't come across there's a whole bunch enough, of sexist pigs like you. You have three daughters, change the world. I'm not saying it's fair, but I'm saying it's actually the fact, right? You need to show more aggression, and especially for a female. That's a really sexist comment. Tanya is asking for $40,000 for a 20% stake in her outdoor cushion business. But Steve thinks she's too soft. That's a really sexist comment. You're gonna be in trouble. You're wrong, Steve. I am not timid, I'm just very well, scared. Well, cool, we'll get in there. At the moment. Cool. Everything you said today basically said you're being timid. I'm not, it's just that this has been my life, my breath, my passion, my dreams for four years and I'm here now. I will be on the phone 10 hours a day if that's what it takes because I'm going to make this happen with or without you guys. Good. But the fact is, I'm not going to stand here and tell you that I've already done it when I haven't. And the reason I haven't is because at the end of the day, I've worked my butt off for three years and I have a child. So I'm trying to juggle everything. I know this is going to work. My figures are there. Sorry. No, no, and you've done well. So I, I, I am I'm... confident. I'm just nervous and overwhelmed and I just want to see these everywhere. You're out looking for an investor. You need to walk in the door and say, this is what I'm going to do. Get 40,000 bucks. This is what's happened in the past. I've learned all these lessons. Tanya, I want to let you know where I'm at. Um, awesome that you're from Queensland. Um, love your part, Bribe your Island. But look, I don't like cushions, as I've already told you anyway. I'm out. Thank you very much. OK, thank you. You really probably don't need take any money from any of us. It's now time to hit the go button, but it's not with me. I'm out. Thank you. Tanya, you've had a bit of a grilling, but hopefully some good advice. It's not a business, frankly, that excites me. I'm not the right partner for you. I wish you well, but I'm out. Thank you. Thank you. To Steve's point, not about the freaking women's pay gap, which is another discussion, the words that you say, you say try, if only. So I think that if you start shifting and going, I will. I will, yeah. Yeah, instead of try, I think that's where, and it's a type, that's what worries me. Yeah. I'm out. Thank you. Thank you. One shark left. So Tanya, what does success look like for your investor today? Sell me the dream. If I've had $10,000 days in Australia, I see uncapped potential. I want to take this to the world. For that reason, I'm making you an offer. Oh, thank you. No, oh, there you go. I don't think you've come here for money. I think you've come here for marketing and marketing support. But I need to negotiate because otherwise it wouldn't be the Shark Tank. So I'm going to offer you $40,000 for a 30% stake in your business. Because I think we've got a lot of work to do. What are you going to do? 
I just want it. I just want it. Thank you. You've done a great job. Thank you. I knew I was going to cry. Can I hug you? Thanks, Tanya. I'll see you shortly. Well, she's a character. Oh, shaking, shaking, shaking champagne. <laughs>